Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, I figured this evening I would do a rummage video. I've been sorting my baseball cards, and I figured this time I would alphabetize everything. Um, this is my full box of last name A's that I have top loaded um, there are some that are waiting to be top loaded that's these that are in a penny sleeve with the cut up index card taped to the penny sleeve but let's go ahead and look at some cards um, now I'll probably just show, I won't do much talking, just so you all can kick back and look at the cards. This first bunch is my Hank Aaron's. This box does not have my graded cards in it. Um, I do have some other graded cards. I did put those in a previous video here not too long ago. I am watching the Cardinals play the Cubs on this Wednesday evening unfortunately I've been hearing everybody talking about the national this year um, I will not be going just because I've got too much going on here And I wasn't for sure if they were going to have one this year. So. Some of these cards I do want to eventually get graded. But I do want to wait until the prices level out. I definitely want to get this in a graded piece. give you a little bit closer look I know it won't grade very high because of some of the paint missing on the edge of the cap and some smudging of the lettering on the back I do know one thing that I would like to get some of those perfect fit sleeves. I just have regular team bags or the Ultra Pro One Touch sealable bags that I'm using currently. They don't fit very well inside these road boxes. I do prefer vintage over modern, but here lately I've been collecting a lot of modern here lately. Um, I got back heavy into the hobby here a couple years ago when my son was born. He is two years old now, so I'm kind of stimulating his collection a little bit for whenever he starts collecting.
am kind of working on getting some pictures up here in my room. Um, this is my bedroom slash hobby room. Um, I'll show you here in a second. Basketballs, some autographed helmets, um, some memorabilia I've got, and some toys. I do have multiple hobbies. But eventually, I made some of those wood planks to display some of my cards. And up on top of those binders are some photographs. But like I said, it's kind of a slow work in progress. I just kind of got... A mass growing here. It all takes time. It comes into place. It's a hobby, not a race. Collect what you love, love what you collect. I do this for fun, not for financial gain. I try to enjoy what I get. I do have a lot, <laughs> as you can tell, but it is fun. I'm not much of a investor flipper person. I just like to obviously collect. Um, I do want to get more in detail on what I collect because like I said I am getting overran with the collection so I would like to focus a little bit more on individual cards um, I am a Cardinals fan so I do try to purchase a lot of Cardinal stuff Sorry about that, everybody. Facebook. Gotta love it. I'm not a big Facebook person. I just mainly get on there to see what family and friends are up to. Some of you have heard this before, but I started my collecting career back in the 80s. My uh, first box, two boxes I opened were 89 tops and 87 tops. Um, I did recently pick up a complete unopened 
set of 89 tops at the last flea market I was at and a hand collated set down there um, I do want to buy the 87 just to have this card is super cool it's like a 3d holographic card it's a 1991 upper deck heroes of baseball that thing is sharp I love it a co-worker gave that to me here he used to be a dealer a card dealer he's been out of business for years now obviously working at a different job now So I'm trying this out just to let you all just take a look. A little less talk. Enjoy the card. These are pretty cool little cards to have. This is an actual set from Tops. Uh, they're the champions of the game, or champions of games and sports. That's a pretty cool little card. They just barely fit the tobacco sleeves. They definitely fit in those tobacco top loaders. It's unfortunate that Mr. Aaron passed away earlier. He had a phenomenal career. He did a lot for the game of baseball. Outside of baseball as well. wonder what he would have thought about the whole all-star game being moved out of Atlanta if he was still alive and I'm not trying to create havoc with that but I think it's getting kind of ridiculous that politics are being involved in sports nowadays that's just my opinion take it with a grain of salt It was still fun to watch in Colorado, but the whole point being and this is a black parallel. Twenty sixteen Stadium Club. These Bowman high tech cards are pretty cool. I didn't realize that they had different subsets. They have different patterns on the 
acetate cards. There's like three different versions in this year. the stand <laughs> okay, I'll dig these anniversary cards at first I was like eh. But after getting some, I just thought it was kind of neat. Here's a silver pack from 2017. Wish that this was the original. This is a reprint. It's an insert card from a later year, 2017. It's like they threw those teaser cards in those packs. I do like Helen and Ginter as well as Gypsy Queen. I think they uh, put out a nice product. Give you some of that older style looking as well as the artistic. I really love gold label too. Stadium Club is phenomenal too. I think those would make some good cards to send out to get autographed. I haven't done that in a long time. I need to get going on that again. Doing some through the mail autographs. Here's the full size version, and here's the mini. This is a regular back, it's not an Ellen the Ginter.
these gold labels, they give you three different classes, as well as color variations as well for each of the classes too. One's the basic, and then three's the more rare. That's a class two. I need to get the class three. And this is what I was talking about. Those Ultra Pro team bags. I mean, they're a great product. But they don't fit in these four row boxes. Those Ultra are the perfect fits. They're supposedly hug the top loader. So they don't affect how they sit inside the boxes. I really want to build a some type of a index a gigantic wood like you'd find in a library. I think it'd look better than having white boxes just laying around. Plus things would be better labeled on the boxes. Obviously I have written on these boxes over the years and scratched them out. I've been using labelers to label my boxes to the kind of tell, tell me what's in them. This one is a numbered version, which was kind of odd. I don't know what the difference is. I guess they just put a stamped a number on it, but here's what it is. It's out of $2.99, but it's the exact same as the base card. that one is not the real card either that's a iconic card reprint from the 2019 set be a nice card to own though I'm sure if I find one at a reasonable price I might just pick it up because that is one of his iconic cards Triple threads. I hate some of these top loaders. They start getting that staining effect. Down at the bottom. But there again, the prices are ridiculous and there's quote unquote shortages of top loaders. One of these days, man, those stadium clubs are beautiful cards. I just love the collar, how it pops. They're so nice. Even the black and white version of these, they're phenomenal. I mean, look at how sharp that picture is. You can even see a shadow 
back in the dugout there. I like to get the Walmart blue version of this with the blue border. I think that looked pretty cool with that Braves blue. I think I'm going to end after this card because it's been 27 minutes that you all have been patiently sitting there watching me go through the A section in my box here and I'll have more in another video. Like I said, this is, we'll call this part one of box A. Again, everybody have a good evening. Collect what you like. Don't let anybody tell you who to collect. You'll have a good one.